Yeah, if somebody said in news for you, why did the cur turtle cross the road, you'd think I was getting ready to tell you a joke. But this Clemson University student found nothing funny about it when he did a research project on road mortality of eastern box turtles. Nathan Weaver of Clemson gained just as much insight into human beings as the turtles. Nathan, you're a senior in the School of Agriculture, Forestry, and, and Environmental Sciences. Before we show the video of what happened, your mission was to try to figure out why turtles are dying so often on the roads? Well, we had heard, you know, I'd heard from multiple sources and from different studies that this was in fact happening. And I kind of wanted to see uh, what was the actual rate, how, how much damage was being done. Mm -hmm. And it's just a very simple study, put the turtle on the road and, and see how many of them get hit. And so let's show you some of this video that was taken showing one of these decoys. These are not real turtles, thankfully. But what did you realize when you started putting these turtles out? The first time I actually did this uh, observation, I set it out and within about two or three minutes one of them got hit. And uh, that first hour of observation I saw seven intentional hits. And that, that's the key word here is intentional because mm -hmm. understandably if a turtle's going across a person cannot avoid it. A lot of people who would hit it would think, oh that's horrible, I hate that that just happened. Mm -hmm. You know, their heart would sink. But you actually saw people swerve or it's, go out of their way? I'm placing it in the middle of the lane. So if you just kept driving normally, you would go right over it. So every single hit I have seen is clearly an intentional hit. What were your thoughts when you realized this was happening and you saw this darker side of human nature? Initially, I wasn't too surprised. But at the rate I've been seeing, I'm very surprised. And um, I, I just hope to by the end of this project have come up with some sort of solution to maybe reach out to the public and mitigate some of these effects. So. When I started hearing this national headlines and I thought hey this is a Clemson University student here who's really gotten the attention of a lot of people around the nation. Were you surprised by the outpouring of uh, gasps that you heard? I am very surprised and, and I'm also flattered. I, I love to see all these people that have contacted me about how they've been saving turtles and how they've told their friends about this article. I'm really happy with how this has turned out. I think it's a good, a good step in conservation. Well, the box turtles certainly, <laughs> if they could talk. <laughs> and let's just show a close-up here of one of these decoys that um, you used. And these were what you put out on the road. And if you want to watch this interview again, it'll be on WISTV.com. And we're certainly going to follow your research and update mm -hmm. our viewers as well. Mm -hmm. Good luck to you as you help these little guys. Thank you. The decoys too. <laughs> Thank you, Nathan, from Clemson University.